This is the image that the practice is going to walk you through uh, and how to put together for the multiplicity um, with the mirrors. So the first step to put this image together is to go up to file at the top of your screen and then down to scripts and over to load files in this stack. That way we're able to load all of the pictures into one document and it will line up all the layers for us. So I'm going to go to browse and find where I have those pictures saved. I'm going to grab those really quick. Here are all of the images for the practice with the mirrors that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to hit open once I have all those highlighted. Now before you hit OK here, it's very important to check off this box that says attempt to automatically align source images. So I'm going to hit that and then OK. And now it's going to load all of my images into a stack over in the Layers panel over here. So this may take a minute, so be patient if your computer um, takes a while to load. If I click through these layers, you'll notice the way that the pictures were taken. Um, I started first with taking a picture for the reflection. So this person here is not going to be in the final image. Um, if we look back here, she's not in that. Um, but the reflection is what matters with this first picture. So when you're taking pictures with a mirror, make sure that you take, first of all, just a plain background picture without anything else in it first, and then look at the placement of the mirror and have the person stand so that you're able to get that clear reflection in the mirror. But obviously don't worry about where she's at because you can go back and um, erase and mask her out eventually. So I'm gonna get started though with the first layer by adding a mask. And then I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool, make sure it's set to black, make sure it says normal, 100% opacity at the top, bring that um, brush a little bit bigger. And now you're going to mask out everything that you want to be in your final composition. So I do not want this um, person here to be in my final composition. I just want the mirror to be in it. So I am going to mask out... Um, or go over just the spots that I want in that final composition. And then once I do that, I'm going to hit Command-I. That automatically leaves that reflection and brings the next layer into my picture. So I can hide that next layer just so that I can see what I'm working with um, here so it doesn't get too confusing. I'm going to add my next layer, and then I'm going to mask out again what I want to be in the final composition. So I want this person here to be in the final composition. I don't have to worry about anything else with the mirror though because I already have that reflection um, and mirror masked off. So then I'm going to hit command I and I'm going to hide that next layer and go on to the next one here. So if I bring this back you can see that reflection still there and then I have that person as well. And I'm going to go to my next layer, add a mask, mask her out here quickly and then I'm just going to continue on. Now the trick with this layer though is when you erase her out, you'll notice the shadow on the outside changes a little bit. Um, what I would do here is just lower that opacity a little bit and kind of blend it out so that you can't really tell where that shadow starts and stops. So that will help in the long run um, when you get a little bit further on to just have that edge smoothed out a little bit. And I'll hit Command I, and that will bring her back. And again, that shadow on the outside doesn't look too harsh um, since it was touched up. But if I bring these layers back, you again can see that mirror from the first layer, and then the people on either side. The one spot with this that you'll want to go back to touch up is the hands. Um, if you look close, it, they look a little see-through. So on that layer, I'm just going to click on this mask and try to bring those hands back. So I'm going to switch my color to white, bring my opacity up, and then paint over the hands there. And then the other thing that you'll want to do is find the layer that's hiding the hand. So that's the top layer of the mirror. So I'm going to click on that mirror and then switch my color to black and just paint over those hands to bring them back on top here. But you want to be careful not to erase too much, so if that happens, just switch that color back to white and you can kind of go back and forth with the black and the white to kind of touch up those specific areas and kind of around the painting as well, or the mirror. 
So then go ahead and just continue on, keep hiding those layers. Um, again, this next layer here, I would just want to mask off the mirror and the reflection because that's the part that I want to keep in my composition. Remember too to mask off any uh, shadows that are with the mirror. So I'm masking off all the shadows there. Command I to flip it. Hide that layer, go to my next one. Now I want her in the composition. So I'm going to add a mask and then mask her out. And remember again to mask out any shadows that are in the picture. And then Command I to bring everything back. And then I'm just going to bring all of these layers here back. And again, you'll notice um, just a few areas that you'll want to touch up. So around this second layer, which if I hide it, you can see um, that spot where the shadow kind of is a little bit too dark or fades too much. That's where you can bring the opacity on the brush down a little bit and just try to fade that in um, to the background. You can switch to white to maybe extend the shadows in some spots. But again, you want to make sure that that fades nicely so you don't have to worry about um, certain areas standing out too much within the composition. So if you go the mirror out, again, make sure that you take your first background picture with nothing in it. Then second, find a spot that you want the mirror to start. Take a picture of the person looking in the mirror and just worry about how the reflection looks. And then make sure that that background or the camera is not moving. Find another spot for the mirror, focus on the reflection, and then think about the placement of the actual clones. Um, you could do the entire picture with just mirrors and just different reflections, or you could do something like this where you maybe have some people in the image as well. Um, but the last step once you're finished is to crop that image. So here's the final result. To crop it, add your levels, curves, and then save it.